good evening all of you in the last session we discussed about what is amazon web services why it is called as aws we discussed about infrastructure as a service platform as a service and the software as a service so can anyone tell me what is aws can anyone tell me what is aws what is aws guys please respond you need to respond for my questions in the chat please participate in the session so that you will understand the subject clearly aws stands for amazon web services which company provided the aws which company provided this aws amazon company so can we call amazon is a cloud provider amazon is a cloud provider providing the services what kind of services this aws is providing what kind of services aws is providing aws providing infrastructure as a service and a platform as a service if you use infrastructure as a service you need to set up the environment to run your application if you use the platform as a service you just need to upload your code in the aws then aws will prepare the environment to run your application very good how many services are available in the aws 10 20 30 40 50 100 how many services are there in the aws 200 plus services are available in the aws are we going to use all the 200 services in the project implementation in the real time are we going to use the 200 services in the project implementation no mostly 15 services we are going to use 15 some people will use only 10 some companies may use 15 some companies may use 20 based on the requirement but we don't use 200 services in the single project okay from which year the aws cloud is available for us 2010 2020 from which year from 2000 six the aws cloud is available in the market can anyone tell me what is cloud computing what is cloud computing getting the it resources on demand basis is called as cloud computing who are the cloud providers available in the market who are the cloud providers available in the market is only amazon is the cloud provider available in the market microsoft is also one cloud provider Google is also one cloud provider. Salesforce is one cloud provider. VMware is one cloud provider. Alibaba is having their own cloud. Like that, there are several cloud providers are available in the market. Okay, so could you please tell me some of the services that you know in the AWS? Could you please tell me some of the services that you know in the AWS? EC2, S3, RDS, DynamoDB, Route 53, VPC, SNS, SQS, SQS, like that, we Beanstalk. There are so many services available in the AWS. Are you clear with this one? In how many countries people are using AWS worldwide? AWS is available only in the India, or AWS is available across the globe? AWS is available across the globe. AWS available across the globe. Now, here guys, AWS services are using in 190 plus countries in the world. How this AWS is providing global infrastructure across the world? How this AWS is providing global infrastructure? Okay, so many countries are using this AWS cloud. That means AWS having global infrastructure. AWS having global infrastructure. What is the meaning of global infrastructure? Across the globe, people are using our AWS cloud. Across the globe, people are using our AWS cloud. How it is possible for AWS to provide the cloud across the globe? In the AWS, there is a concept called regions and availability zones. What is the concept available in the AWS guys? AWS providing the global infrastructure across the world by using two concepts. One is called as regions. Second one is called as 
availability zones what is the meaning of region region means one geographical location region means region means one geographical location one geographical location in the world aws having 26 regions in the world aws having aws having 26 regions able to understand in how many places aws having its infrastructure aws having its infrastructure in the 26 region in regions in the world region means one geographical location region means one geographical location aws is having aws is having 26 regions aws having 26 regions availability zone means a data center availability zone availability zone means data center availability zone means data center aws is having 84 availability zones aws having 84 availability zones aws having 84 availability zones one region can have multiple availability zones note this point guys one region can have one region can have multiple availability zones are you able to understand my point what is what is global infrastructure available in the aws aws providing the services for 190 plus countries how this aws providing the services for 190 countries because aws is having a global infrastructure how it is providing the global infrastructure aws is using a concept called regions and availability zones what is the meaning of region region means one geographical location aws has selected 26 locations to provide the infrastructure it is not one place guys it's not one place to provide the services in 26 locations aws having their centers in the 26 locations aws having their centers to provide the infrastructure one geographical location is called as one region and in one one availability zone one region one location can have multiple availability zones for example if we take uh, india in the india aws is having only one region that is mumbai for the indians aws providing the infrastructure from the mumbai location aws having their data centers in the mumbai region in the india there is only one region available for the aws that is called mumbai region in that mumbai region they have three data centers three availability zones available in the mumbai what is the meaning of data center data center nothing but collection of servers with complex network and power data center means it is a building data center means data center means it is a big building which contains which contains lot of servers with a network with a network power and secure lot of servers with a network power and security that is called as data center data center data center means it is a big building which contains which is a big building which will manage by the aws which contains a lot of servers with the network power and security aws will maintain aws is responsible for managing these data centers aws managing infrastructure infrastructure in data centers infrastructure in data centers can you tell me how many data centers are available in the aws guys how many data centers are available in the aws 84 data centers are available in the aws 84 data centers available in the aws how many regions are available in 26 locations aws having the regions one re region nothing but one geographical location one region can have multiple availability zones in india 
AWS having the region, AWS having Mumbai region. AWS in India, in India, AWS having only one region, only one region that is Mumbai. That is Mumbai, AP South 1. It is called as AP South 1. Mumbai region is called as AP South, Asia Pacific, not on the Pradesh guys. Asia specific. This is the name of the region, Mumbai region name. This is Mumbai region name, AP South 1, Mumbai region. In Mumbai region, we have three data centers. Mumbai region having three data centers. Mumbai region having three data centers. The data centers names, the data centers names, what, what is the name of the data centers in the Mumbai? AP South 1A, AP South 1B, AP South 1C. They are called as AP South, AP South 1A, AP South 1B, AP South 1C. AP South 1A, AP South 1B, AP South 1C. These are the names of the data centers available in the Mumbai region. Sir, why I am talking about why I am talking about these regions and zones? If you want to set up the infrastructure in the AWS, you have to select the region. You have to select the region and you have to select the availability zone. Hyderabad is becoming AWS region coming soon. AWS region coming to Hyderabad coming soon. They already announced that they are going to set up AWS region in the Hyderabad also. Currently, it is not available in the Hyderabad. It is coming soon. It is coming soon. Are you guys clear with my point? How the AWS people are able to provide the services across the world? How the AWS is able to provide the services across the world? AWS is having a concept called regions concept and availability zones concept. AWS using a concept called regions concept and availability zones concept. What is the meaning of a region? Region means one geographical location. Region means one geographical location. Now, in one region, we can have multiple availability zones to provide the infrastructure. What is the meaning of availability zone? One availability zone is called as one data center in the AWS. One availability zone is called as one data center in the AWS. What is the meaning of da data center? Data center means it is a big building which contains a lot of servers with network power storage and security. Everything will be available in the data center. So what we need to do to set up our infrastructure in the AWS, we need to log in into the AWS. We need to choose the region in the AWS from which region you want to set up the infrastructure in that region, which availability zone you want to use to set up the infrastructure that you can decide, you can choose. But always it is recommended to choose the region which is near for you. If you want your services to be speed, if you want the network speed, always recommended to choose the nearest region. We are in the India. Which region we have? Do we have any option to choose the another region in the India? In the India, we have only one region. In which city the AWS having their region? Only in the Mumbai. Mumbai region is called as AP South 1. In the India, there is only one region, that too in the Mumbai. Mumbai region having how many data centers? Mumbai region having three data centers. What will be there in the data center? Data center is nothing but a big building where Amazon having a lot of servers with complex network, complex power, storage, security, everything is there. Now you want a database, then connect to Mumbai region and get the database. You want a virtual computer, connect to the Mumbai region and get it. You want a storage, connect to the Mumbai region and get it. Okay, everything you can select from the region and availability zones. Someone is asking, Mumbai region will provide IAS or PAS whatever you want. You can use both IAS and PAS from the Mumbai region. One region will support for everything, guys. You can take the infrastructure as a service from the Mumbai. You can take the platform service as from the platform as a service from the Mumbai. 
కనకారావు ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ ఇండియా రీజన్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ బోత్ ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ యాజ్ ఏ సర్వీస్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ ఆల్సో యాజ్ ఏ సర్వీస్ ఆర్ యూ క్లియర్ విత్ దిస్ పాయింట్స్ నా కుడ్ యూ ప్లీజ్ రీడ్ ఇట్ హౌ ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ ద సర్వీసెస్ ఫర్ వన్ నైన్టీ ప్లస్ కంట్రీస్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ రీజియన్స్ అండ్ అవైలబిలిటీ జోన్స్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ రీజియన్స్ అండ్ అవైలబిలిటీ జోన్స్ గైస్ నావ్ కెన్ యూ సి ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ గ్లోబల్ ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ హెస్ గివెన్ వన్ పేజ్ టు చెక్ ద గ్లోబల్ ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ global infrastructure now how many regions are available in the aws how many regions are available in the aws how many regions are available in the aws now 26 regions are available in the aws what is the meaning of region region means one geographical location guys it is it is very it is it is very very important to understand the regions because whenever we are using the aws services some services are regional specific that means within that region only you can access that services we need to understand what is a region and what is availability zone 26 regions each with multiple availability zones can one region can have one region can have multiple availability zones or not one region can have multiple availability zones so in the 26 regions how many availability zones are available how many availability zones are available 84 availability zones are available what it announced now eight announced regions what is the meaning of eight announced regions aws increasing from 26 to 26 to 26 plus 8 34 it is going to become 34 regions coming soon eight regions already announced can you see the map of the world world map can you see world map can you see two color two types of dots are available one is blue color dot another one is orange color dot blue color dot nothing but regions orange color dot represents coming soon blue color represents already region available for the aws orange color dot represents the region coming soon in that location okay if you count all the dots it will be equal to 26 if you count all the orange color dot it will be equal to 8 26 regions already available eight new regions are coming for the aws now can you see the mumbai can you see the india in the map can you see the india in the map mumbai launched in which year aws has done the region setup in the india in which year 2016 AWS has done the setup of Mumbai region in the 2016 Mumbai region having how many available if you see in the India in the world map you can see India in the India in the India we have one blue color dot and one orange color dot blue color dot represents Mumbai region it launched in the 2016 it is having three availability zones okay now when you go for orange color dot Hyderabad coming soon currently in Hyderabad the region is not available so in the India if you are in the india if you want to use the aws then you bet it's better it's better to connect with the mumbai region so that your services will be speed services will be speed now can you see what is a data center now a data center will image looks like this guys can you see what is a data center a data center is a big building a big building with a lot of security with a lot of power lot of network configurations will be available in the data center one data center is equal to one availability zones aws providing you computers for rent aws providing you database for rent aws providing you storage for the rent aws providing you security for the rent where is that infrastructure where aws maintaining that infrastructure aws maintaining that infrastructure in the data center it is a big building it is a big building where the aws has done their, their infrastructure setup now we are in the india we want we are in the india now i am in hyderabad i want to set up a virtual computer for my project deployment i will connect to the mumbai region and i will set up my machine so in the mumbai region aws having three availability zones why three availability zones if some building got damaged backup will be available in the other availability zone so there is a chance of getting some earthquake some tsunami some natural disasters can happen always we need to have the backup of our data if this building is collapsed 
can aws say to the customers my billing is collapsed i have lost my data can aws say to the customer my billing is damaged my billing collapsed because of health cake i lost your data can aws say that what is aws is guaranteeing aws is guaranteeing 99.999% availability 99.999% availability aws is guaranteeing so do you think that aws will store all your data in one availability zone do you think that aws will store all your data in one availability zone AWS will not store all your data in one availability zone. That's why in every region they are using multiple availability zones for backup purpose. For backup purpose now. Backup purpose. In the Mumbai, how many availability zones are available? In the Mumbai, how many availability zones are available? Three availability zones are available. Do you think that three availability zones will be available side by side? Do you think that three availability zones will be available side by side? If the availability zones are available side by side, then what is the problem? If the availability zones are available side by side, what is the problem? If a disaster happened, all the three availability zones will be collapsed. That is the reason AWS will make sure every availability zone will have 100 kilometers distance. Every availability zone will have 100 kilometers distance. Okay, if you keep now, now assume that I'm going to take, I'm going to take three availability zones. Can I keep all the three availability zones only in one location? If I keep all the three availability zones in one location, then what is the problem? Now, assume that this is Mumbai. In the Mumbai, how many availability zones are available? Three availability zones are available. Three availability zones are available. This is our Mumbai region. This is our Mumbai region. In the Mumbai, we have three availability zones. They are called as 1A, 1B, 1C. Three availability zones are there. Can you keep this with one kilometer distance? This is with two kilometer distance. Can you do? Can you do the data center setup like this? If a earthquake happened, there is a chance of affecting for one kilometer distance. If a tsunami happened, there is a chance of affecting with one kilometer distance. If a natural disaster happened, there is a chance of affecting for one kilometer, two kilometers. So that's why what the AWS is making sure, what the AWS is make sure that AWS is setting up the infrastructure with a one kilometer distance or AWS is setting up the infrastructure with minimum 100 kilometers of distance. AWS is having infrastructure set up with a 100 kilometers of distance minimum. Why they are using 100 kilometers of distance minimum? Can you tell me why the AWS is having 100 kilometers of distance minimum? Why it is having 100 kilometers distance minimum? Agar kuch bhi garbad ho jao, agar kuch bhi garbad ho jao, ek hi building chale jayega, dusra building will be available. Availability to provide the high availability, to avoid the high availability. To provide the high availability, AWS is managing the infrastructure in multiple availability zones and each availability zone available with the 100 kilometers distance. Now, can you tell me what is the availability zone? Availability zone is nothing but a data center. What is the meaning of a data center? Data center means infrastructure is available. Instead of we are purchasing the infrastructure, AWS already purchased the infrastructure giving for rent, guys. Where is the AWS infrastructure available? AWS purchased so many virtual AWS purchased so many complex computers, highly configured computers, highly configured databases, network storage, everything AWS already purchased. AWS is giving you that infrastructure for rent. AWS giving the infrastructure for rent. Where is the AWS infrastructure? AWS infrastructure has done in multi AWS infrastructure configured in multiple regions. One region, nothing but one geographical location. In one region, multiple availability zones will be available. Every availability zone will be having with at least 100 kilometers distance. To provide the high availability, AWS, is, AWS has done this 
global infrastructure set up with 26 regions and 84 availability zones. And they already announced that more eight regions they are going to set up coming soon. Coming soon. This is the outside view of the data center. This is outside view of the data center. Can we go for picnic for AWS data center? Can we see all the servers? Can you check all the plugs are pl wires are working or not? Power is there or not? Security guard is sleeping or not? Can you go to there for picnic? Will they allow? Will they allow you for AWS data center? Ah. They will they will kick you out. They don't allow you because data center means not a small thing, guys. It's very, 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 very complex. Complex. Setting up the data center is very, very, very complex job and costly also. Can you imagine how much money AWS invested to set up these data centers? Billions of dollars. Billions of dollars, not rupees. Billions of dollars they have invested to set up this infrastructure worldwide. Worldwide, 26 regions. In every region, multiple availability zones. Total 84, 84 availability zones are available. In 84 places, these data centers are available with complex network connections. This is top view of your data center. Can we see inside view of the data center? Can we see inside view of the data center? Ah, data center will be available like this inside. These all are the servers, guys. These all are the servers. These all servers are having power. These all servers are having network. These all servers are having security. Lot of configurations the AWS has done. Racks, racks are available. These servers are available. Now we are using AWS servers, nothing but we are connecting to AWS data center using the service for rent by using internet. Now, how the AWS providing these services for you through web, through internet. AWS providing the services through web. Amazon is providing the services through web. That's why it is called as Amazon Web Services. This is the inside view of your data center. Lot of sun, lot of servers will be available with the configuration, network configuration, power configuration, security configuration, backup configuration, what not, guys. So many things are there. This is inside view. This is outside view of your data center. A big building. A big building. What all these cars? Visitor cars or employees' cars? Employees' cars. They don't allow you a lot of tight security will be available. Those are the people who are going to work in the AWS data center, network engineers, servers, administrators, and power engineers, electric engineers, electronic engineers. All those people are working on the data center. That's why we are able to use the AWS services by using internet to set up our infrastructure. Guys, tell me, is it easy to maintain these kind of data centers? Is it easy to maintain these kind of data centers? It's not easy. Now, do you understand what is the meaning of global infrastructure that AWS is having? Now, do you understand what is global infrastructure that AWS is having? AWS is having a global infrastructure. That means worldwide they are providing the services with the help of regions and availability zones. Region means one graphical location, geographical location. Availability means, availability zone means data center. It is not easy. It is not easy to set up this kind of data centers. AWS invested a lot of time, lot of money. From 2006 only, they are providing these services. That means when they have started this business, when they might got this idea from 2006 they are providing that means minimum to minimum 10 years or five years they might have worked on this concept right how much analysis they might have done how much analysis they might have done how much money they have spent how many years they worked on this how many people worked on this Can you imagine how much money they might have invested, how much time they have invested, how many people are working on the data centers? Can we imagine that? It is out of our imagination, guys. It is out of our imagination. AWS is the market leader 
AWS is the market leader. More than 15 years so they are doing this service. More than 15 years they are doing this service. Watsal Singala. Pagal ho gaya kya? If you are really interested to attend the class, listen. Otherwise, leave the meeting, sir. Don't waste your time. He is saying that AWS invested one rupees. Are you joking? <laughs> if you are not interested, please leave. Don't waste our time. Okay, it's not you are. We are not here to crack the jokes. We are here to understand the subject, man. Please don't disturb. If you are not interested, please leave. Okay. Yeah. We need only interested people to learn. All right, guys. So I hope you got the concept. What is region and what is availability zone? You got the concept. What is region and what is availability zone? Perfect. Perfect. Now, guys, with this, we understood theoretically what is AWS, what is AWS Cloud, what are the advantages of AWS Cloud, and AWS providing what type of cloud services. So today we understood AWS Global Infrastructure. AWS provided that global infrastructure. Now we understood a concept called regions and availability zones regions and availability zones and we discussed about data center aws data center are you comfortable with all these concepts are you guys comfortable with all these concepts what is cloud computing getting it resources over the internet is called as cloud computing IT resources, getting the IT resources over the internet is called cloud computing. There are so many advantages are there if you go for cloud computing, low cost, pay as you go. Now guys, I have a question for you. AWS providing the services for free of cost? AWS providing the services for free of cost? How AWS providing the services for you? How AWS providing the services for you? Pay as you go model. AWS providing the services based on pay as you go model. If you use if you use it, you pay for that. It is like a post paid bill. It is like a post paid bill pay as you go. Right. And AWS providing three services. IAS, PAS, SAS or AWS providing only two. AWS providing two. Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service. AWS is market leader in the cloud computing. AWS available from 2006 onwards. AWS providing 200 plus services for your IT infrastructure. AWS providing the infrastructure for how many countries? How many countries are using AWS? How many countries are using AWS? 190 plus countries using AWS. There are so many services available. 200 plus services are available in the AWS. How AWS is able to provide the services for 200 plus countries? They have a global infrastructure. How AWS is managing the global infrastructure? By using a concept called regions and availability zones. Region means one geographical location. One region can have multiple availability zones. One region can have multiple availability zones. Data center is available. Data center is available. Data center nothing but it is a big building where they have the complex network, power systems and everything. Okay. We can use the AWS services based on our usage based to use the AWS services to use AWS services to use AWS services. We need to create we need to create account in AWS. We need to create account in AWS one year free subscription one year free one year free one year free. After one year, AWS will do the charge for you. One year free. You can use the AWS, you can create the AWS account and you can access that account for one year for free of cost. Note in AWS, in AWS, few services are in AWS, we can use services for practice purpose and we can we can close those services close those services to avoid billing now 
as part of the training period i will tell you how to use the aws services for free of cost you no need to pay the money you no need to pay the money to create the account note guys another point note to create account in aws to create account in aws we need to provide we need to provide debit or credit card we need to provide a debit or credit card they will deduct they will deduct 2 rupees 2 rupees to inr for card verification they will deduct only 2 rupees for card verification they will deduct only to inr for card verification verification if you use paid services if you use paid services in aws then they will calculate they will calculate how much you used how much you used and based on that how based on that bill will be generated bill will be generated note AWS will not deduct the amount from our card directly. We have to pay the bills. AWS will not deduct money from our cards directly. AWS will not deduct money from our cards directly. We have to pay the bill. We have to pay the bill. We have to pay the bill. Otherwise, otherwise, AWS. will terminate our account aws will terminate our account without your without your interaction without informing you aws is not going to deduct even single rupee also from your card but it needed to create the account you need to provide your debit card or credit card in the aws initially at the time of account creation they are going to deduct only 2 rupees for your card verification purpose you can uh, they are going to deduct only 2 rupees for the card verification purpose note aws account one year free one year free service one year free service in aws okay next one in aws in aws we can use services for practice purpose and we can close those services we can close those services after our practice after our practice to avoid billing from the aws okay guys now you no need to pay even single rupee also for practicing in the aws i will tell you how to avoid it how to avoid it okay now to create account in aws we need to provide a debit card or debit credit card they will deduct only 2 rupees for card verification that's it that's it not more than that if you use paid services if you use if you cross the free limit then then aws will generate the billing for you if you use services more than free limit if you use services in aws more than given limit more than given limit then they will calculate how much time you used how much time how much time you used that service how much time you used ser that service and based on that usage based on that usage bill will be generated for you bill will be generated for you aws will not deduct bill amount from our cards directly will not deduct bill amount from our cards directly we have to pay the bill otherwise aws will terminate our account amount will not be deducted from your account directly okay are you guys clear with my point are you guys clear with my point 2 rupees for card verification and they will refund those 2 rupees also and they will refund and they will refund those two inr also it is just for your card verification is your card is working or not for that purpose aws is going to deduct 2 rupees and they are going to refund those 2 rupees also to your card okay if you use services in aws more than given limit then they will calculate how much time you used that service and based on that usage bill will be generated for your account bill will be generated for your account aws will not deduct bill amount from our cards directly we have to pay the bill otherwise aws will terminate our account our account 
during our course we are going to we are going to use the services almost we are going to discuss 15 plus services in the aws as part of our course which are very frequently used in the several projects for those 15 services usage you no need to pay single rupee also i will tell you how to stop the resources how to start how to stop those services after our practice session is completed so you no need to pay single rupee also as part of this aws learning you no need to pay single rupee also for the aws cloud as part of our training we are going to learn almost 15 services in the aws for free of cost we are going to learn the 15 services in the aws for free of cost can you read these points guys some people may get a doubt sir hum paisa pay karna padega kya no you don't need to pay anything you can use the free services you can use the services of the aws for one year free one year ke baad bill will be generated for you one year ke baad bill will be generated for you after one year, what we will do? We will close this account. We will open another account with a new email ID for practice. That's it. Okay. You can create multiple free accounts also. Na? You can create multiple free accounts also. With the different, different details, you can create multiple free accounts. One year, we will use first account. After one year, we will close this account. We will open another free account. Yeah, yes, me. Because we are learning now, nah? we don't have a company to set up the infrastructure. We are learning. Company people will use paid accounts. Companies will pay the money for the AWS to use the infrastructure. We are here to use the infrastructure for our projects. We are here to lend the infrastructure setup here. We are here to lend the setup. For learning purpose, we can use that free account for one year. If your free limit is completed, then you can create another account to learn for learning purpose for learning purpose are you guys clear with this are you guys clear with this come on guys can you tell me can you tell me are you guys clear with this what is the difference between our free tier account and the company account there is no difference our free tier account after practice we will close that service in the company they will run the services continuously. That is the only difference. Company also will open an account in the AWS. We also open an account in the AWS. We will use free account for one year. Company will continue the same account for many years to use the infrastructure. There is no difference. There is no difference. There is no difference. Clear? I love you. Yeah. Now let's go to AWS. Let's go to AWS. Guys, here there is the option called create an AWS account. For creating the AWS account, already I have given you a document also, step-by-step -step document I have given for creating the AWS account. If you see in the Linux classes, I have given that document also, guys. How to create the document in the AWS free tier account creation. I have uploaded a PDF document here how to create the account in the AWS step-by-step -step document I have provided step-by-step -step document I have provided to create the to create the account in the AWS okay now guys uh, this is zero to DevOps batch zero to DevOps batch view notes now here I am uploading the document for the people who has done the enrollment they got the access AWS account to creation AWS account creation, that PDF document I am providing in the portal. Guys, daily class notes we are going to upload in the portal. Class notes we are going to upload in the portal. After the class is completed, I will upload that class notes in the portal. You guys can download it. The people who has done the payment, I have provided the access for them in the portal. For the people who has done the payment, I have provided access for them in the portal. You will join into our website as a student. You will log in with your credentials into our website. If you have already done the payment for the DevOps with AWS course, then you can see that course in the My Courses. You can see that course in the My Courses. When you go to DevOps with AWS, you can see the Zoom link here. You can see the Telegram link and all. Here, I have provided AWS account creation. Just now I have uploaded the notes. If you click on the download button, that PDF will come for you. You can download that notes every day 
class notes will be updated like this. You need to log in into our website with your credentials. Go to my courses. In the my courses, you can see the course which you have joined. When you click on the view notes, Zoom link will be available here. Telegram link will be available for the group discussion and the AWS no account creation document I have provided for here for you people just to go through the document and create your account in the AWS. I am already having an account in the AWS. So I'm going to log in into my AWS account. Let me show you how to log in into AWS account. When you create the account in the AWS guys, when you create the account in the AWS, you will be log you will your account will be created as a root user account your account will be created as a root user account enter your email id click on next button it will ask you your password it will ask you your password you need to enter the captcha you need to enter that captcha in order to log in into that aws g x c c 6 c 3 f security kelly now password i'm using my existing account you guys need to create your own account guys for additional security purpose i have created a multi-factor authentication when you when i try to log in into my account aws will send me one code aws will send me one code that code will be generated every time it is something like a token multi-factor authentication i have enabled for my account even if you know my username and password also you cannot log in into my account because i have a multi-factor authentication in the classes i will tell you how to set up the multi-factor authentication in the aws now once we log in into aws we can see aws console this is called aws management console now whenever you log in into the aws the first thing that you need to check you are selected in which region these are the list of regions that aws is having okay us east north north virginia ohio california us west africa asia pacific hong kong asia pacific jakarta asia pacific mumbai osaka seoul singapore sydney tokyo central frankfurt europe ireland london milan paris like that there are so many so many regions are available in the aws 26 regions are available the people who are attending the classes from us you can select the us region which region is nearest for you us east us east north, north virginia ohio california are gone but currently i am taking the classes from india so i am having mumbai region in the india so i am selecting my region as a mumbai the very first thing that you need to use uh, you need to select in the aws is you want to operate the aws cloud from which region you want to operate the aws cloud from which region we need to operate the aws cloud from the nearest region for me the nearest region is the mumbai so i have selected the mumbai region now you can see all the services in the aws there are 200 plus services are available in the aws we are going to start our journey in the aws with a service called ec2 service we are going to start our journey with a service called ec2 we are going to discuss about all these concepts in the ec2 ec2 is a very big service guys it is going to take almost 10 days of time to understand this service in the demo session i have explained you what is load balancer what is load balancer right security i have explained load balancer i have explained all these concepts you can see here virtual machines i have explained ec2 ec2 stands for elastic compute cloud virtual servers in the cloud ec2 nothing but what virtual servers in the cloud i want to use the computers in the aws i want a computer from the aws cloud which service will give you is which service will give you cloud which service will give you virtual machines in the aws guys which service we need to use in the AWS to get the virtual machines? Which service we need to use in the AWS to get the virtual machines? Which services we need to use to get the virtual machines? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We need to start our journey in the AWS with a service called EC2 service. Okay. So we are going to start our discussion related to EC2. 
guys so don't think that i am taking the demo sessions these are not the demo sessions these are the regular classes regular classes already started only the sunday session was the demo session yesterday also it is a regular session today also regular session these are the main topics only i am not talking any thing related to demo these are the main sessions i told you people to attend the main sessions for free for 3 days after 3 days if you are interested to continue then you can do the payment and you can continue these are not the regular sessions so today we are starting our first service in the ec2 first service in the aws so as part of this course how many services we are going to understand 15 plus services we are going to cover as part of our training what is the first service we are going to understand today we are going to start with our first service what is the first service we are going to discuss in the aws can you guys tell me what is the first service in the aws the first service in the aws we are starting is elastic elastic compute cloud what is the first service we are going to start elastic compute cloud elastic compute cloud ec2 stands for elastic compute cloud using this service using this service using this service we can create we can create virtual machines using this service we can create virtual machines that means i want a computer i can take that from the ec2 i can, i want a computer from the aws i can create a virtual computer by using ec2 ec2 stands for elastic compute cloud using this service we can create virtual machines virtual machines okay you have several types of options to create do you want a windows machine do you want a linux machine do you want a mac os machine ec2 will support you ec2 will support you now guys as part of this ec2 instances we are going to understand ec2 instance types we are going to understand ec2 instance types okay then we are going to understand launching windows vm how to launch windows vm in the ec2 rdp client how to launch windows vm and how to connect to the windows vm using rdp client then launching launching linux vm connect with the put line launching linux vm when i launch the linux vm i'm going to explain you concept called key pairs concept in the aws i'm going to explain you a concept called key pairs i'm going to explain you another concept called security groups security groups ec2 instance types launching windows virtual machine in the ec2 connecting to that windows machine by using rdp client launching linux virtual machine and what is a key pair in the linux what is a key pair in the linux and what is a security group what are the security groups in the aws ec2 then after the security groups we are going to talk about putty putty to connect with the linux machines how to connect from our windows machine to uh, linux machine by using putty to connect with ec2 instance ec2 linux instance linux instance after this connecting to the ec2 instances i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you what is volumes in the ec2 what is volumes in the ec2 what is snapshots in the ec2 what is the volumes in the ec2 what is the snapshots in the ec2 after that we are going to talk about ebs additional value root volume and additional volume root volume and additional volume that we need to talk about ebs is a separate service guys ebs is a separate service but we can use that with the ec2 ebs root volumes and additional volumes then i am going to dip, i am going to tell you i am going to tell you what is load balancing what is load balancing how to distribute the load from one server to from one one from one url to multiple uh, servers by using ec2 load balancing concept i'm going to explain you auto scaling auto scaling means when the huge traffic is coming we need to add the servers to our load balancer when the traffic is less we need to remove the servers from the load balancer dynamically adding the servers removing the servers from the load balancing is called as auto scaling we are going to talk about that auto scaling also as part of this 
as part of this. Okay. Now, can you see EC2 instances? EC2 dashboard is available. By using EC2, what we can do? Computing the cloud. We can do the cloud computing by using this EC2. Okay. EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. Using this service, we can create virtual machines in the AWS. Now, if you want to run your project, you need a server. How you will run your web application? We need a server to run our web application. Where you will install the server in the AWS? To install the servers, we need a computer. Which service will give you computer in the AWS? EC2 service will give you computers for rent, virtual computers. Currently, do we need to pay anything to use this virtual computers? Currently, do you need to pay anything to use virtual computers in the AWS? We can use it for free of cost. For one year, it is free. For one year, it is free of cost, guys. Are you guys clear with my point? EC2, nothing but Elastic Compute Cloud. Using this service, we can create virtual machines in the AWS. Inside the virtual machines, we will install the servers and we will deploy our applications. In virtual machines, in virtual machines, we will install server and we will deploy our applications. If you want to run your project in the cloud, then you need to deploy your project in a server. Where you will install the server? To install the server, we need a computer. Who will provide you that computers for you? AWS is providing a virtual computers for you. Which service you need to use to create the virtual computer? EC2 service we need to use. EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. In, when If you want to launch a virtual computer, if you want to deploy the application in the EC2, you need to understand all these topics. How many types of EC2 instances are available? There are some free tier eligible instances available. There are some paid instances available. I will give you clarity what instances are eligible for free, which instances are eligible for free, which instances are not eligible for free, and how to launch it a Windows machine in the EC2. Tomorrow session, I'm going to explain you how to launch one Windows machine in the AWS, guys, and how to connect from my local computer to Cloud VM. So tomorrow, we are going to talk on this concept. In the AWS, I'm going to launch one Windows computer. Windows virtual machine, I will launch in the AWS by using EC2. Right, now here, this is my local computer. This is my laptop. This is my laptop. Now I want to connect from my local lap from my local laptop to this EC2 Windows VM. For that, what is the settings that we need to do? How to launch the Windows VM? How to connect from my local laptop to this Windows VM running in the AWS by using RDP client? This is our tomorrow's lab task. Practically, we are going to understand this topic in the tomorrow session. How to create a first EC2 instance with Windows operating system in the AWS cloud by using EC2. How to connect to the EC2 computer from our laptop by using RDP client. That we will discuss in the tomorrow session. This is our tomorrow's lab task. Once we are able to launch the Windows VM in the AWS by using EC2, then after we will launch the Linux VM by using EC2. Once we launch the Linux VM, then we will install the server. We will deploy the application. We will do the load balancing. We will do the auto scaling. We will create the volumes. We will take the snapshots, all the real time activities we are going to perform. These are the topics we need to learn as part of the EC2. If you know all these topics, then you can say that you know EC2 service in the AWS. EC2 is used to create the virtual computers. Why we are creating virtual computers? To set up the infrastructure, we need a server. To install that server, we need a computer. That computer we are creating by using EC2. Are you guys clear with the introduction for EC2? What is the purpose of EC2? Are you guys clear with the what is the purpose of EC2? Come on, guys. Are you guys clear with the purpose of EC2? Yes. We are clear with the purpose of EC2. I'm uploading the today's class notes also in the portal. The people who already joined for this course, the people who already joined for this course, they have the access in the portal. You guys can download the notes that I have prepared. You guys can download the notes that I have prepared. I will give you both files, guys. Save this PNG picture. 
I will give you both notes file as well as I will give you both this notes file as well as notes file 19th April. I will zip it and I will send you class notes paint file and the text file also. TK? Yeah, notes is available and the text file is available. Let me zip it. Compress to a zip file. TK? Let me upload this. The people who are having the access for the portal, they can download these notes. This is 02 DevApps today's notes. What is this? Regions. Regions. And we discussed about availability zones and EC2 introduction. EC2 introduction. This is what we discussed today. I'm uploading that zip file for you. Please download it. TK. Yeah, submit. Then guys, that notes file is uploaded for you. So the people who are uh, done the enrollment process, they have the access for that portal. So if you do the enrollment process, you will also get the access to download the class notes. Let me check it. Notes is uploaded or not. I logged in as a student. Let me go to this. Yes, perfect. Today's notes is available. Today I have uploaded two files, guys. One is how to create the account in the AWS. And the second one is notes file with the paint diagram as well as text file I have uploaded. Guys, when you are attending the classes, you no need to write any running notes. I told you that. I'm writing the notes for you. I'm preparing the documents also for you. Once the class is completed, every day I will upload the class notes. Once the class is completed every day, I will upload the class notes. You don't need to write anything. You don't need to write anything to uh, do these things. TK guys, thank you. Anybody having questions now, you can ask your doubts now. Raise your hand if you have a questions. Raise your hand in the Zoom. Anybody having questions on today's session? Daily doubts clarifications also will be available for you guys. If you have any question, please raise your hand in the Zoom. Shraddha, uh, good evening Shraddha, what is your doubt? Uh, good evening sir. Sir, yeah, actually, you. yeah, at this time, sometimes my uh, meetings are there for office timings. So like, what if, uh, like, if I miss the session, uh, like, will you be sending the recorded video? No, you need to, you need to go for uh, 15,000 rupees plan, daily recorded video, you will get to your main. Oh, uh, sir, I have enrolled for uh, that plan only. But yeah, if you, a, yeah, if you enroll for that plan, then admin will call you tomorrow, how to access the daily videos, you, uh, we will tell you that. Uh, daily okay. after the class completed, you will get the recorded video. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah. guys, Thank daily you. class timing is uh, seven to eight, uh, seven to eight fifteen. Class will be available daily. Same timing, same Zoom link. You can use tomorrow also. Tomorrow is the last free session. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah. Only AWS. It is eight thousand. Only AWS. It is eight thousand for live classes. If you want the recorded videos of AWS, ten thousand rupees only for AWS. Live classes plus recorded videos. DevApps with AWS. 12,000 rupees live classes, 15,000 with backup videos. Okay, recorded videos will be available for six months access. Yeah. Hi, Praveen Kumar. What is your doubt? Praveen sir, Kumar, how to the sir, how to the payment process, sir? Payment okay. process, I will tell you that, sir. Uh, I will give you one Google Pay number. You can do the payment to that Google Pay or phone pay. Let me tell you the number. Yeah, okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, okay, sir. Yes, right. One second, guys. I will give you the payment process so that you guys can enroll so that you can get the class notes. Once the enrollment is completed, we will give you access for the class notes in our website. You no need to ask the management for the class notes on Zoom link. Everything will be available in the website only. Yeah, guys, this is our Google Pay number. You can do the Google Pay or phone pay to the same number. The contact, uh, the person name will come as B Lakshmi. So as I mentioned you, that uh, course fees for DevApps and AWS, it is going to be 12,000 rupees. Okay, AWS fee, only AWS if anybody want to attend, then it is 10,000 with the backup videos, mm -hmm. 10K. If you want to go with the AWS plus DevOps, then it is 15,000 with the videos. 
ठीक है गाइस फाइन